Well, it's one of the best times of year for those with a sweet tooth, Girl Scout cookie season. <laughs> so, of course, in most communities, you can find scouts selling cookies door to door. But for those in Louisville and Superior, there's a lot fewer doors to knock on. But that's where Denver 7 Gives comes in. Here's Jason Grenauer. It's cookie season. That time of the year when vest clad young girls become business women. That one and the one that's in her hand. Will that work? <laughs> Little entrepreneurs selling sweet treats at booths or going door to door in their neighborhoods. Pretty much the entire neighborhood, so. But for this fourth grade Girl Scout troop out of Louisville, it's gone. We have many girls in our troop that don't have a neighborhood anymore. When the Marshall Fire tore through Boulder County, it destroyed the homes of three members of the troop. What did you lose? Everything. Including their co-leader. Even our uniforms were lost. Just days after the fire, the troop was scheduled to meet. With the help of Girl Scouts of Colorado and donations from troops across the metro, they did. This is one small thing that we would have normally done, so let's just get there and everybody was glad that we did that. And when it came to whether or not the girls would sell cookies this year? I don't even think it was a question really about, I mean we did pose the question but I think in their minds it was not uh, like we're never going to do this. It was of course we're going to do cookies. <laughs> Which brings us to a Saturday morning outside of Louisville store. This is a menu, that one is... Thin mints and Samoas bringing that sense of normalcy. I just think it's awesome. Good for them. Poor girls. <laughs> the worst thing that ever happened to me when I was in fourth grade is, you know, I couldn't find my shoes. So, so no, it's, it's pretty impressive that they're willing to put in this kind of work. The more boxes that were bought, the bigger these smiles got. So why not give them one more reason to smile? Denver 7 would like to place an order for cookies. Oh. We would like to order $5,000 worth what? of cookies. Oh. <laughs> What do you think? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think it was like, wait, what? Wait, ah, oh my God. Funds from our Denver 7 Gives Wildfire Fund will help fund this little group for the year. Really shows us how generous our community is, how people are looking out for us. I'm blown away. There was no way we were going to make our goal this year, and you guys just made our goal for us. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> the cookies will be donated to first responders in Louisville and Superior, and the girls get to see what a caring community is all about. It just lets you see the good in humanity and in people, and this is just another example. We think about emotionally where they've been since December 30th. This is the happiest we've seen them. This isn't a dream. This is just a miracle. So thank you very much. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.